Greetings, my people. Today I'm going to talk to you about the elements of a novel. With me today is Professor Raccoon. There are six different elements that are contained within any story that you would read in any book or in any movie or any TV show. There are characters, there's a plot, a setting, point of view, theme, and conflict. Today I'm going to go talk about each one of these, define them, and that way you can get a sense of how they apply in stories that we read. The first is setting. The setting is basically the time and the place in which a story occurs. This also can include the social and environmental reality of the character's environment. So if I'm thinking about an example here, Black Panther is set in Wakanda in the late 2000s, 2010s. Characters. Now there are many characters that can exist in a story, but generally speaking, characters are the main actors in a story or who the story is about. There's some classifications here that help us organize what characters stand where. The protagonist is usually the character on which the action centers. It's the hero or the heroine of the story, the main character of the story. In the case of Black Panther, it's T'Challa. The antagonist is the character or force opposing the protagonist. It can be a person or it can be a force. In the case of Black Panther, Killmonger was the antagonist. Within those characters, you can distinguish whether a character is round or flat by how much you know about them. A round character is a complex character who will undergo transformation or development over the course of the story. They, you learn more about them as the story progresses and their character uh, characteristics change depending on the types of things that they undergo. A flat character, in contrast, is a simple character who do not change throughout the story. So they will exist as the same you, you know them as the same person throughout the whole story. They do not change. So you have the protagonist, the antagonist, round characters, and flat characters. Next is plot. Plot is simply the sequence of events of the story. It's what makes the story a story. What happens to the characters in the story. So it's the beginning, middle, and end. Generally speaking, there's a rising action that leads to a climax, a climactic moment, in the case of Black Panther, when T'Challa and Killmonger fight each other, and then is resolved at the end of the story. So plot generally has a beginning, middle, and end, and it takes us through uh, what the characters go through. Point of view. Now this is the, the position that the narrator has in relation to the story. So this is something that probably many of you are aware of, but the first person is putting me in the story as though it's telling it from my perspective. So the pronouns most commonly used with this is I, me, and my. The second person, which is not super common, but is becoming more common uh, in certain types of literature, you are the narrator of the story. You, your, and yours are the pronouns that mostly that are used exclusively in the second person. Lastly, the third person. Third person is an outside narrator who's describing and commenting upon the characters and the actions in the story. So they, he, she are doing these types of things. <clears throat> now within that, the third person narrator can have two different distinctions. They can either be an omniscient narrator, which is to say that they know all the thoughts of feelings from every character, or a limited omniscient character, which in which the narrator focuses only on the thoughts and feelings of one character. So omniscient being knowing the narrator knows the thoughts and feelings of everybody versus the limited omniscient where the narrator is only focusing on one character and their thoughts and feelings. Theme. Now this is an important one, but the theme of any story is the central and unifying idea. It's the main idea of the story and it's the, sto it's the message that the story is to convey. And this is important because there's many, many, many themes that can exist inside a story. A love story is not simply just a love story. Sometimes there's many things that, that are at play when it comes to these types of things. And we're gonna be talking about this in great detail coming up. Lastly, the conflict. Now the conflict is simply the struggle between two opposing forces. Generally speaking, it's the protagonist versus the antagonist. And the conflict itself is what provides tension that moves stories forward. So again, in the case of uh, Black Panther, Killmonger doesn't, clash with Black Panther or with T'Challa at the beginning. He gets closer and closer and closer. 
and their stories converge, converge, converge until they meet. And this is what pushes the story along. Now, conflicts can exist in many different ways. It could be a person versus another person in the case of Black Panther, a person versus themselves, a person versus nature, either environmental nature or their own kind of uh, instincts or, or their own nature, person versus technology, person versus society, person versus government. And these are just some examples of what's out there. So that's it. Hope this was helpful. Maybe this was a review, but make sure you ask me questions the next time you see me. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.